everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have a fun card to share with you featuring some ombre water coloring and also some new stamps that I've designed for Whimsy Stamps. To start off with, I'm prepping my watercolor paper with an EK6S powder tool. This is going to help me get better stamping and heat embossing because we're going to be doing a lot of watercolor resist. So I need to be able to heat emboss my images and I need to make sure that my paper does not have any extra static on it that will, the embossing powder will stick to. I'm going to do my stamping with some Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink. I love this ink for all of my embossing needs. It's really great. And I'm going to go ahead and start stamping my little sailboats onto this card. I'm going to be stamping the sailboat in threes. It's going to help me create a visual triangle because this is going to be the biggest element on my cards. So I want to have this image in particular be able to have a good visual layout. So that way it helps your eye move along the card a lot better and it will also look a lot more appealing because everything will be anchored with that well-designed focal image. So after I've stamped the sailboat, I'm going to go ahead and take some Ranger Super Fine Embossing Powder and I'll go ahead and sprinkle that onto the sailboat. I like Ranger Super Fine Embossing Powder because it really holds onto the details of your stamped images very nicely. When you heat emboss with super fine embossing powder, you definitely notice the added quality to your embossed image. So now I'm going to go ahead and heat set that and I've added some more EK Success powder onto my paper because I'm going to go ahead and keep stamping. I'm now taking the compass that's included in the Ocean Journey stamp set and I'll go ahead and stamp this down a couple times. I'm also going to stamp a couple of the little buoys that are included in this set. There are three different buoys. I'm going to stamp all three of them onto my card and then I'll go ahead and heat set those as well. Finally, I'm going to add in some smaller images. So I'm going to take the little starfish that it's included in the Ocean Journey stamp set and also the anchor. And that's going to fill in those smaller areas that didn't get filled in with the bigger images. Alright, so to get started on my painting, I'm going to be taking some water here. You can see I've already used this water for something else. But because the water is blue and I'm going to be painting with blue colors, I'm not worried about it being contaminated with other colors. If I was trying to use something like reds or yellows or something, I definitely would want to get more clean water. However, since I'm using Tumble Glass, Blueprint Sketch, and Mermaid Lagoon Distress Inks, these are all blues and the water will be just fine. So to get started, I'm going to start my ombre by adding some Tumble Glass along the bottom portion of this card. After I've applied a little bit of tumble glass, I'm going to grab some Mermaid Lagoon and I'm going to add this to the middle portion of my card. And because we're doing an ombre and I've got three different colors, I want to make sure I break up the paper accordingly so that way the ombre is evenly spaced along this entire card. So I've, after I've added the Mermaid Lagoon Distress Ink, I'm going to go ahead and take some water and blend that into the tumble glass. And having that water underneath that we added first, that's going to help also in letting our colors blend together a little bit more as well. Now I've added some blueprint sketch and because the blueprint sketch is a slightly purpley color, I wanted to make sure I blended that well with some Mermaid Lagoon Distress Ink. So that way I added a little bit more of a cooler tone to that blueprint sketch and it matched the rest of the colors a lot better. So here I'm taking some Distress Sprayer and I'm adding some water droplets all over this panel. This is going to give me some great texture to this card. I let it sit for about 30 seconds or so and then I'm going to go ahead and dab it up with a rag and this is going to create some gorgeous water splatters. Really pretty. Now after I dry that, I'm going to go ahead and add a second layer of color. And I'm doing this because I want to be able to have more intense color. And when you add layers of Distress Ink, that's going to help you achieve that. So here I'm taking that tumble glass and I'm adding it along the bottom portion. I'm going to take a little bit more Mermaid Lagoon and I'm going to add this all over both this middle section and also the top since again I'm going to be blending this with the blueprint sketch. So I want to be able to make sure that I have that color all over the middle and top portion so that way I could go ahead and do that much more quickly. So after I've added the Mermaid Lagoon, I'll bring in some more of that blueprint sketch and I'll add that along the top. And I'm just blending the colors together and then making sure that my ombre has a nice seamless blend. After that dried, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of that water and spritz it all over the background. And this is going to help me achieve a lot more texture because again, we've added the water splatters underneath previously. And believe it or not, that extra splatter, even though we covered back over top of it, that shows through. And you can see the variation in texture on this panel that really you would not have gotten if you had done just one layer of color and splatters. Alright, so I'm going to take my sentiment banner. This is another design I've created for Whimsy Stamps. I'm going to cut it from white cardstock. 
and I'm going to start warping this sentiment, which is from the Ocean Journey sentiment set. I want to make sure it fits along the shape of this banner. So just by warping the sentiment just a smidgen, I can go ahead and stamp this down onto the banner and it'll flow with the shape much more nicely. I'm going to stamp this in some soft granite Hero Arts ink. Now that Love You portion hangs off the top of the sentiment banner. However, I'm going to be cutting the Love You portion out of another piece of cardstock. So I'm not worried about it not being stamped onto the banner. So I'll go ahead and clean off my stamp and I'm going to go ahead and now take some navy ink from Hero Arts and I'm going to stamp that same sentiment onto this cardstock using that ink color. I'll ink up my stamp good and then I'll go ahead and press this down onto my paper. After I press that down, I'm going to go ahead and start fussy cutting my sentiment out. I love fussy cutting sentiments out. It's something that I really think adds a lot to the card and I love how you can get extra dimension with that sentiment. When you're fussy cutting, just make sure that you turn the paper and not your scissors because that will help you get a much cleaner cut. It takes a little bit of practice to do some fussy cutting, but as you do it more and more, you'll definitely notice an improvement in your cutting. And I think it's something really fun to be able to do once in a while to your cards to have this popped up sentiment off of your card panel. All right, so once I fussy cut that out, I'm gonna start putting my sentiments together. I'm putting some ATG adhesive on the back side of the banner and I'll go ahead and put this onto the bottom portion of this card. I'm leaving a little bit of room because I do want to add a little bit of Baker's Twine to the bottom. So I'm not going quite as far as I would have if I was just going to be placing the sentiment. I'm going to put some foam tape on the back side of the Love You portion and I'll go ahead and plot this up off of my card panel and I'm laying that right over top of where the Love You started the stamp on that banner. Alright, so here I'm taking that Baker's Twine. This is just some gray Baker's Twine. I thought this would add a little bit of extra texture to the card and I think the neutral color really tied in with the blues beautifully. And then to finish things off, I'm taking some sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh because of course I love adding sparkle and shine to this card and I didn't want to add glitter so I thought the sequins would be a perfect way to add that extra little sparkle without it being too distracting from the watercoloring. So I hope you've enjoyed and got some inspiration on creating some ombre style watercoloring. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and head on over to my blog where you can get more information on this card including still pictures and products used. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, here's another one you might like featuring more of my Whimsy Stamps designs. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can connect with me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, as well as my blog. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.